this is genuinely such an interesting story to me and it seems so flat and simple at surface level but really i'm super passionate about this this small creator by the name of esta bluke i think is how you say it esta bluke has blown up extremely hard and fast on tiktok recently with videos talking about him amassing at times millions of likes and his own content gaining hundreds of thousands of views every day. And this is all because of one little series he has called Doing the Chica Dance Until I Get a Girlfriend. Now, immediately upon first impression, you might think this is kind of cringe and this guy's cringe, but wait, I have something to explain to you and I'm gonna convince you of my side and give you what I think of this. So just stick around, trust me. For those who don't browse TikTok, a very popular trend is like doing X until Y happens. And basically you do X and then the next day you do X again and you do it again and you do it again, like dancing until Jacksepticeye duets me or something. That was an actual real one. And so that's basically what this guy is doing, except for it's getting a girlfriend. And recently he actually gained so much attention because of this that he went on Jideon's live stream. Yeah, Jideon, the guy who just got out of a beef with Pokimane like a month ago. Everyone was talking about it. He got banned on Twitch. Yeah, that guy. He did a live interview with Establuke and kind of went over kind of his thought process and kind of how he is as a person. And I was really curious to see this because there's something about this whole trend that really really bothers me and not from the creator's perspective but rather from the viewers now i'm not gonna lie the interview itself is not super interesting so i'm not gonna go over the interview today and esta bluke explains why it wasn't super interesting in his own video follow-up video that he made he basically says that he was not used to getting so much attention i mean he was on a live stream with like 10,000 plus viewers people were spamming negative comments about him constantly he said his family and friends were watching and they were messaging him too. So he basically just kind of got overwhelmed and just kind of sat there and just agreed with everything that Judeon and Judeon's friend were saying. And plus he said he just didn't feel like he was even really wanted there. So he just really wanted to leave. And actually I found this clip from the interview and Esther Bluke's follow-up video that he made. And it kind of explains what I mean. Let's watch this clip. I just do the cheeky dance. It's not, there's not an issue. It's not like I'm awkward or I, I like self-confidence or anything. It's just that I'm not really interested in anybody right now right now i'm just focusing on college and work here's when i got uncomfortable for the second time they started laughing at my response and i felt like i said something wrong i think hearing back they laughed at, at me saying i am not awkward or self i lack self-confidence i don't lack self-confidence anymore uh but i am definitely awkward <laughs> you just want to focus on college instead of bitches bro lol oh my god what a fucking loser i really actually don't get what's funny about this i don't i don't think he said anything funny here at all is this this is totally a normal thing to say <laughs> what the fuck are they even laughing at Oh, and the thing about this guy that I haven't even mentioned yet is he's been doing this for over 750 days. I think he's closer to 800 days now. It's a lot of days. He's been dancing since before COVID even happened. Now, if you go to any of this guy's videos and look at any of his dances, you will go to the comments and see just tons and tons in tons of hate. People shitting on the guy, telling him it needs to stop, telling him he's fat, telling him he has to hurry up and just get a girl already. People say shit like, why won't a girl just take one for the team? It shows that a lot of people have a very stupid, immediately judgmental understanding of what's happening. And I'm gonna break that down for you guys. Now, there's more of an interesting depth to the story that people don't really get. And this guy gets hate for literally no reason at all. Before we do that, let me just give you guys some of my thoughts on this. At face value, a lot of people seem to think this guy is doing this dance to get a girlfriend. Like he's hoping that the TikToks, I guess, will catch the attention of some girl and she'll fall in love with him and want to like have his babies or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> First of all, that's really stupid, but a lot of people think that. And second of all, this just isn't true. There's a now deleted TikTok I can't find. I didn't save it when I saw it, but it's basically of a woman who made a TikTok. She said like, I'm just gonna take one for the team. I'm gonna message him. I'm gonna hit him up. I'm gonna message him. And she did, she hit him up and messaged him. He, she got like hundreds of thousands of likes. People were like, tell me what happened. Oh my God, message him, take one for the team. Stop this kid from dancing. And then she made a comment following up on her video where she said he rejected me what the fuck and it's because this guy is based this guy is awesome everyone's hating on this guy but he really actually unironically kind of has it figured out i don't know why it's typical and expected of people that they should just throw themselves at any woman who comes their way they should take a pity date that there's not really a meaning behind getting a girlfriend it's just having a woman with you by rejecting that girl this guy tells me immediately that he's not interested in just having some random 
woman who doesn't care about him by his side who he can say, I have a girlfriend. No, he wants a real girlfriend that's actually meaningful to him. And that's awesome. What, what, I don't, I don't understand what, what's wrong with that. I guess people are proud of just settling and also just dating around randomly in hopes that you find someone good. For example, here in his latest video, he says this. And I don't know, I've always had a mentality where I want the first one to be my last one. Wow, dude, cringe. You should just randomly date people who don't mean anything to you. Cringe, bro. Who would want actual true love in a real relationship with someone who actually cares about you? I'm dying, bro. You're fat. Get a girlfriend, lol. You should just settle for some random pity date that a woman on TikTok just offers you just so you shut the fuck up. Of course, dude. Like, that's unironically the state that we're in. And the funniest thing of all this is that on Gideon's interview, he says he doesn't even want a girlfriend as of right now. In his video, he said when he started the little dance, he was looking for a relationship. He was looking for a woman who he would really like. And like he said, his first would be his last. But then as the years have gone by, he's kind of focusing on himself and doing his own thing now. And therefore he doesn't really need a girlfriend right now. He's not really interested anyway. But apparently this is just dumb. Apparently this is stupid. He just needs to bring a random woman into his life that he doesn't really care about, waste her time, waste his time, and also take away his pure sacred virginity, his relationship virginity, just because people on the internet are mad at him. I think this guy is fucking awesome. His dance is a little cheesy. I mean, sure, it's a little cringe. I don't really care. Another thing is I see so many people virtue signaling about well, if he just stopped doing TikTok dances, he could have improved himself so much. Instead, he wasted all his time doing this series. Do you guys understand how easy it is to make a TikTok video? Are you guys really this fucking clueless? So many people browse this app every single day, and they still are fucking idiots who have no idea how easy it is to make TikTok content. Let me explain to you the process this guy has to go through to make a video. He takes his phone, he opens up the recording, he sets it down, he presses record, he steps back, he does his little dance to the song, Right? He goes back, I think he, uh, you have to trim it a little bit, or maybe it's a time thing, I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, maybe 10, 15 seconds of editing. Then he adds the title, he uploads it. This takes probably a minute and a half out of his day from start to finish. Probably a minute and a half. You know, 15 to 20 seconds of setting up his phone, 15 seconds of actually recording the dance, you know, 30 seconds of just trimming text and then upload, and that's literally it. Like a minute to a minute and a half. Not even. But people are like, wow, if he just went to the gym instead of recording this, he would be so fixed. First of all, y'all go to the gym for a minute and a half and y'all don't spend any of your free time just pointlessly browsing TikTok. Uh, yeah, you do. That's why you're fucking commenting. So he spends a minute of his day pointlessly making this silly little series that he has fun with. Get the fuck over it. Also, apparently the only way to these people that you can get woman is by going to the gym and making yourself look good. The only thing they care about anymore is looks. Maybe he has a good personality. Maybe he's funny. Maybe he's nice. Maybe he's just a sweet guy. And that's what a girl would like. But no, he has to be ripped, jacked with a fucking awesome haircut. And he has to just pick up random whores and just fuck them. Otherwise, he's a fat virgin loser. Like you people all sound so fucking cringe and gay and you're all terminally online. You're more terminally online than this guy is. No, you're fucking cringe and Esta Bluke is awesome. I see so many TikToks like this one, for example, where this person says, I feel like this man doesn't even want a girlfriend at this point. The amount of people trying to help him and he just actively ignores them. Heard some girls even try, but he rejected them because they were taking one for the team. Like, bro, that being positive shit isn't going to help you. Take your big ass to the gym, find a new style, get a haircut, and actually talk to women. So yeah, you're clueless, you're retarded, you're dumb, and you're brain dead. He's literally said he doesn't want one. He's doing this for fun. It takes him one minute. He doesn't have to find a new style and get a haircut. If he's happy how he is, a woman will find him eventually, or he will find one eventually when he's ready, and he will date, and he will be happy. People are so obsessed with changing people that it's just actually insane. And then the comments of that TikTok I just showed you. He stooped down to dancing on TikTok for two years straight just for a GF. I'm sure standards aren't the main focus here. Skull emoji. He stooped down to dancing on TikTok for a fucking girlfriend? Are you actually retarded? Are you actually fucking stupid? What do you mean he stooped to dancing on TikTok for two years straight? Are you fucking dumb? He's doing a trend that they... That he thinks is fun and that's literally as deep as it is this has nothing to do with his real life you don't know anything about this guy you have no idea what he's doing you're just fucking stupid usua is hot so pretty you're also a fucking weeb looks like what the fuck is your profile picture you're talking shit 
Osuo Osui is hot underscore so pretty. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. This guy, I love Esther Blue. He's literally so chill. I think he's such a cool guy and I like what he's doing. He's doing it for fun and he puts up with so much shit. The fact he's still doing it every day, honestly, it makes me proud. I'm actually proud of him. I, every time I see him on my 40 page, I'm, I'm excited that he's doing it another day. Like keep doing your shit. You're a fucking beast and I fucking love you, dude. But anyway, that's my short little rant video about this guy. It's such an interesting topic. I hate seeing the people hate on him because they're just clueless idiots. And this guy is awesome. I hope in five years from now, you get a girl that really loves you. You're in a true serious relationship and you're happier than all these stupid fuckers who just date random whores, get their heart broken and get in meaningless, pointless relationships. You're a fucking king. Props to you. Everyone say dicks out for Estep Luke. This man is a fucking Chad. Thanks guys for watching. Peace.